exhibition was created in honor of Edward Hopper and his artwork. Edward Hopper was a famous painter in the early 1900s who was known for his colored paintings. Hopper grew up in New York where his artwork originated, but as he grew as an artist, he began to paint English scenery. The two paintings which we specifically enjoyed are known as The Morning Sun and The Sunlight in the Cafeteria. The first piece of artwork which we have chosen by Edward Hopper fascinated us because it made us wonder what has happened. Since there aren't any sheets on the woman's bed, we can assume that she was up all night thinking, or that someone has just left her and that she is lonely. Hopper uses this technique in which he juxtaposes the woman's emotions on her face to the orange color that she is wearing. Although her facial expression looks glum, the brightness and the color contrast allows us to infer that the woman is hopeful for the future and learning how to move on. This painting sends a message, keep moving forward, because of the dramatic orange morning rep representing a brand new day. The next piece of artwork caught our eye because the suspense hidden behind both male and female sitting at the tables. Mr. Hopper purposely seats him at each table alone in an empty cafeteria to entice our imagination and pique our curiosity to think about whether they know each other or if they are purposely ignoring each other. The fact that the artist painted this during the daytime rather than at night makes the tone of the painting happier and brighter, therefore leading us to believe that good could come from this encounter. The man looks like he is glancing at her in an obvious but shy manner and the woman seems to be curious as to who is at the other table. The suspense in the painting makes us question many scenarios as to what could be going on and what is about to happen. When putting both of these pieces side by side, we can contrast the tone, mood, and the feeling that Hopper portrays to his audience. Edward Hopper uses juxtaposition in these paintings. He does this by setting the colors up to contrast with the expression of the people in the paintings, in order to emphasize the possible mood he is trying to relay. Hopper really embellishes the effect of solitude in both of these paintings. In the first painting, there is a lot of empty space in a big room with only one person on a fairly large bed. And in the second painting, there is no one on the streets or in the cafeteria. By doing this, he gives us a great example of amplification through simplification. Forrester states that each artwork has a life of its own that is imposed on by its creator. Each of these paintings has what Forrester would call an internal order, which is when the artist has created something truly unique because of the piece of artwork has a life of its own that the artist embodies. Hopper's paintings have this internal order because Hopper used the painting to express his story through the color, the people's emotions, and the people's expressions. Edward Hopper has allowed himself to create another world through his artwork in which he can enjoy. Forrester believes that art has an external value when the artist has established internal harmony which Hopper has accomplished.